What's up? What's up? Coming in today to share with you all a little bit about how unhealthy food makes you feel. And um, obviously everybody know I had an amazing weekend with amazing support. Went out with my family several times. Um, and then I go into my story. I let a few people get on. Uh, because it is live and I would like to hear feedback if I you know as many as much feedback as I can possibly get uh, through this live feed so I can be able to you know answer any questions what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have my laptop on because the last time I did a live I couldn't see the thread so if I have the questions here maybe when this freezes I can still have the questions over here so let's, see. let's see what I can do here So what I'm doing right now is I'm going on my page through my laptop. So in case you guys have any questions and I can't see it, I'm able now to see the questions, you know, that you guys might have. So if you're on, thank you for getting on. Comment below. Uh, just say hello, you know, so I can give you a shout out back and just acknowledge you for being here. It's 9 o'clock at night. You're probably just on your phone scrolling through. You see unhealthiness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to. I want to hear about this. Um, got my insanity hat on. My hair is all looking crazy. So <laughs> this is like real. It's all live. I ain't trying to look cute for nobody. I'm just here. My my message has to be cute. So it's all about the message, not the look. So so why am I making why am I making this video? I'm making this video why because this weekend that just passed, um, I had the privilege and the honor to be a presenter at one of our biggest events. Um, yes, I had all my food packed. I had, you know, all my all my nutrition straight up good. Uh, then my lady showed up and she she surprised me, which was the most beautiful thing that I, I I just love seeing her. So it doesn't, you know, that never is a shocker. But um, you know, I, I wanted I, I wanted to go out because you know we don't get to see each other. So we, you know, I wanted to go out and then she wanted to take me out. So we we ended up going to one of one of the best locations that I like to be at, which is like you know which is uh, Zinburger. What's up, cuz? Uh, which is Zinburger, which is, you know, burgers, fries, you know, whatever, stuff like that. So I'm like, I've been doing so well. And I'm a person, I'm an 80%, 20% type of eater. You know, you could go 85, 15, you could go whatever, whatever, make, whatever suits your boat. For I'm a 80% nutrition and 20%, you know, not so good, you know, whatever. So, so for me, I'm a person that, that when I cheat, I make sure I cheat with moderation. Like I'm a pizza guy, I'm a burger guy. So those are my things. And, I, and as you saw yesterday, I, I make my own burgers. So when I make my own burgers, I, I try to eliminate as much as I eat out. So the reason why I'm, I'm sharing this with you is because I ended up eating uh, a burger. Obviously, you guys saw the picture, the monster burger that I ate. What's, what was in the burger? It was onions, lettuce, tomato. It was uh, fried uh, onion rings as well. And um, I had sweet potato fries. And what I had at the end was like, the kicker was like, I had uh, uh, cookies and cream milkshake, which is so delicious. It's so good, so good. But anyway. I can do that. So what did I do? I ate that, but when I came home, I still ate healthy. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to let that ruin the rest of my day. So that was just one meal. That's it. I was done. I'm good, right? And then the next day, I had my breakfast as normal. I had my, you know, my snacks and stuff like that. But we still, we went out with my parents. I treated them for Applebee's. So we went to Applebee's. My girl was slick because my girl ordered healthy. I did not. I chose not to. So I ate, you know, I, I ate another burger because that's pretty much what they had on the menu for me to eat. And I wanted it because I felt like I, I deserve it. So that's my 80-20 for that day. So I ended up, what, what the point I'm trying to make is that eating that simple, right? And then I was still, I, I still had some meals left over that, that, Obviously, you don't, what I cooked yesterday, it was up to yesterday that I had my meals. So I had to cook for the, for the whole new week. So 
eating all these foods that I had Saturday, Sunday, the one thing I started feeling, I started feeling tired. And I normally don't feel tired. I started feeling tired. My nose started getting stuffy. I was coughing, which is, for me, is a little bit abnormal because I don't cough as much. So, and I started feeling weird. Like I started, you know, like my body started feeling a little awkward than normal when I am in a nutritional structured plan. And so what am I, the reason I'm sharing this with you is what kind of symptoms are you getting on a daily basis with what you're eating? Because the one thing that people are failing to do, the one thing that people are failing to do is, you know, the first thing they revert to is medicine to, to cure whatever they have. But they don't ask themselves, the tough question is, what is it that I'm eating that's causing this feeling? Because you are what you eat. The way you feel is what you eat. So I'm asking you, whoever's on this right now, if you can like dissect yourself, right? Cause I'm a self analyzer. Like I check myself, everything I eat, I make sure I monitor it to how I'm gonna feel. Like I even figured out, I used to get pimples all the time. Like I was, I felt like a 13 year old kid, <laughs> but it was the avocados. I was eating avocados. Uh, there were certain type of oils. I couldn't have coconut oil. All these things I could not have, right? So I needed to figure out why I was feeling, why I was breaking out. And the only reason why I was able to figure that out was because of the transformation that I made from the past to the present with the foods that I was eating then to the foods that I'm eating now. You know what I'm saying? With the fast foods back then, with the Chinese foods back then, all the high sodium feelings that you used to get, all the high sugar stuff that you're eating on a daily basis. Some of the stuff that you think are healthy, guys, you got to monitor. When you're eating out in restaurants, when you're eating out in fast food places, you got to monitor the food that you're eating. The sodas, guys, sodas has so high in sugar. You want to stay away from them. They're so high in sugar that... Like I, I had a friend of mine that told me that he drinks soda, right? But he drinks it with a straw, right? When you when when you drink so, I agree. Whenever I eat out, I feel super lazy. That I listen. I felt that way this weekend. I felt super lazy. But when my friend was drinking soda, he drinks it in a can. So what he was doing, he was putting the straw in the can, right? He was sipping in the cup. What did he tell me? He told me that the reason why he's drinking soda in with a straw is so his teeth don't suffer from the soda, right? But then I started thinking to myself, I'm like, all right, so you're avoiding the teeth. But what's going to happen to the rest of the insides while you're drinking your soda? That, I mean, like, it just, you got to make sense of the situation and you got to make sure that you're making the right choices. Just because you're avoiding the teeth section, you're forgetting what you're doing to the rest of your body. Guys, soda isn't good for you. You should start eliminating that out of your nutrition off the bat. If you're having adobo all every day for your food, like, you're crazy. Like you're just murdering yourself by yourself. When you buy frozen foods, be conscious of the sodium intake. The sodium intake on frozen food, you need to monitor. You know what I mean? Because a lot of these foods are processed and, they, and, and the sodium intake is very big. And like, the, I used to buy burgers, turkey burgers. I used to buy turkey burgers all the time. That was the thing I used to eat like three, four years ago before I became conscious of sodium and sugars. And I noticed that the turkey burgers, I used to buy them at Costco's already pre-packed, that each one were like 360 to probably 400 milligrams of sodium for one of them. That's not counting the, the, the bread that you're going to put on it. That's not counting maybe the lettuce, tomato, all that stuff, or cheese if you like cheese, or whatever, the, whatever that may be. If you're not adding, you got to be careful what you're adding on top of whatever already is there. So think about this. If you're an adobo user, so you buy frozen foods, they're already maybe as high as sodium, like in, they're in the 200 to 300 to 400 milligrams of sodium, right? 
and then you come and bring in adobo. And when you start using the adobo, obviously this is the patty, and you start going like this to the adobo, right? And then you flip it around and do it on the other side. Not only are you intaking 200 milligrams of sodium on the adobo, I mean on the adobo side, right? But you're also adding the 400 milligrams of sodium that the patty already had. So you're increasing the sodium intake and a daily intake for an active person for sodium is 2,000 milligrams. 2,000 milligrams. And, it, and, and when you're doing, and when, and when you're doing the uh, adobo by itself, you can, you can intake that in one serving. In one piece of meat, you already increased your 2,000 milligrams of sodium. So what I'm, what I'm trying to tell you guys, like right now, I wanted to share this video with you guys. Whoever's watching, thank you for taking the time to, to join me. Is because I'm not feeling 100%. And I know why. It's because the way I ate the weekend. I, it's exactly the way I ate the weekend. But I'm conscious of what it is because I am aware and I create awareness in my mind on how I eat. I already analyzed everything I did. Am I going to do that again? Not anytime soon because I do not like the feeling that I have right now. I really don't. And when I feel tired, I, I limit myself. But today I made it my business to work my business while I sat because I wasn't feeling 100% to go outside. But you know what? I still got up. I still ate my meals. All my meals are already accounted for. My water intake accounted for. I'm back right back at it. So I'm here to share with you guys that, listen, you're not perfect. I understand. I didn't have guidance when I first started. I didn't know what I was doing when I first started in nutrition, but I'm here to tell you, I'm gonna give you that guidance. We're gonna provide you the guidance needed so that you can succeed, so that you can have a better living for not only yourself, but your kids. Do me a favor for all you parents out there, do me a favor. If you're not eating it, why are you giving it to your kids? Why are you doing that to them? It's like one of the things that I notice a lot is that when kids are constantly getting sick, you got to keep an eye on what they're eating and what it is that you're giving them because they deserve, they don't know. They're going by you. They're going by what you give them, what you provide them. So if you're not conscious, if you're not, if you're not teaching them what it is, the, what it is a nutrition does to a kid, to an adult, you're, you're doing a disservice. It's not fair to them. You know what I'm saying? We need to create awareness because what we do today is what they're going to do tomorrow. And we need to be, you know, not, I'm not going to sit here and say you're a bad parent. It's that you're an unaware parent. You're, you're not aware of what it is that you should be, should or should not be doing because you were taught by a generation that didn't understand nutrition, didn't understand fitness. And that's okay. That's nobody's fault. But we, as a new generation, we need to start creating more awareness of what we put into our bodies. It's your choice. Everything is your choice. If you're tired of the way you're feeling, start making a change towards it. But if you're going to stay the same, don't complain about being tired. Don't complain about Mondays. Don't complain about Thursdays. Don't complain about anything. You can't complain about what you don't take action on. And that's the problem that a lot of people have. A lot of people tend to complain about actions that they're not willing to take. So stop complaining and start taking actions in the things that you need to start doing to better your health, to better your, to, to better your life, to better your actions, your production, your feelings. You know what I'm saying? So... I really want you to take this information that I'm giving you. It's like, this is my perspective. This is my years of committing to myself, to my body. Do I have a six pack ripped up all over the place? No, I don't care about none of that. I just care about feeling good, eating right, moving on. Did I care about a six pack at one time? Absolutely. Why? Because I never had it. <laughs> so now that I've had it, I don't care if I get it back. I really don't. Do I work hard for it? Absolutely. Do I still want to at least have a little something, something? It's all good. But at the end of the day, guys, it's not about 
your core, and it's not about it's not about your apps because your core you, you do need cores. Um, you just gotta control what it is you're intaking in your body so that you can feel the best way possible. Rosanna, you don't want to give a Starbucks? It's all good. Don't give it up. Make better choices. They have coconut milk. Use coconut milk instead of whatever the other milks that they use. Instead of four sugars, use one sugar. Like those are the ways that you, there's ways that you can control what you already eat. One of the things that I do with my challenges is I, what I do with my challenges is I, I don't take away what they eat. I modify what they eat because I don't want them to be like, I'm eating this just because of the program. You know what I'm saying? I don't want people to be like, I'm just eating this because of the program. No, I want people to eat the food because that's what they prefer to eat. Not only are they eating this today, but they're eating this for the long term, for the long haul, so that they can feel better about themselves. Because what I'm eating today, I could eat 10 years from now because I love it. I enjoy it. It satisfies me. So you got to eat the foods that make you feel good and start making better choices today so that you can build yourself a better tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I just need... If you listen, I love you need flavor in your foods. Mrs. Dash gives it to you. There's there's another one out there. It's called Flavor Something. Go go check them out. There's different. There's there's awareness now, guys. There's so much awareness that now you need to do your part and be aware of where you find these things. I'm just I'm just like the palm in the chessboard that's ready to move around when my time is up to move. I just made the move by making this video to create more awareness of what it is that you're going to do so that you can start feeling better about yourself. When you start feeling better about your body and yourself, you're going to you're going to do so much more out of life. You're going to feel you you're going to feel so much better. Like if you want to be listen, one thing that I can tell you is that People that have those bad attitudes, that have rough days, you know, all those little things when you're, you're feeling angry a lot, guys, it has a lot to do with food. I mean, unless you're having a really bad relationship, whatever, or a bad friendship or a bad job place, but primarily, a lot of our actions and our attitudes come from food too. Because they start creating stuff in your brain that activates some crazy stuff that I read once and I don't know the details. I'm not going to sit here and sound like a, like a brain a brain surgeon or whatever. But it's true. Because I used to be a completely negative person back in the day to a now a high-valued, positive, faithful person. But you got to start making changes within your within your heart, within your mind, and within your food. I personally, I would start in your mind, then your heart, and then your stomach. All that right there. If you do all three, if you if you marry the three, I promise you that you're going to feel better about yourself. I promise you that you're going to be more in life. I promise you that the feeling of fulfillment that you're going to get, not only for yourself, but the people around you, because your attitude is going to change. You're going to be more confident in yourself. You're going to look in the mirror finally. For some of you that never look, haven't looked in the mirror in so many years. I'm going to be honest with you is that, you know, you, you have to like really create more awareness. You, you, you've got to do more. But it's up to you. Make a decision. Make a choice. Life is about choices. So go out there and create more awareness of what it is that we do. I'm a beach body coach and I'm proud of it. I love to change people's lives. I love to inspire people to be better, to do more. You know what I'm saying? Because I did it. I accomplished it. I'm doing it on a daily basis. I'm a prime example of consistency. If you, wanna, if you want the definition of consistency, you'll find my name on there. People, know, people that know me, everywhere I go, I have my little bag of food. I'm making sure that I have, because I can't go a day without eating. 
I mean, I don't mind. If I have my food and we're going out, I make an exception and I'll eat out. But I still have my food that they still got to go down the same way. But you got to stay consistent. If you're tired, if you're tired of putting on a shirt and it, and it's like way too big, like cause cause and it makes you look heavy and your jeans aren't fitting, like me, like what happened to me five years ago where my jeans weren't fitting that I, that made me make the choice. I was a size forty and I was getting ready to be a size forty two. Now I'm a size thirty two. Come on, now I lost eight to ten inches on my body. Who knows what else? But at the end of the day, it's not about the inches. It's not about the weight. It's about how you feel when you look in the mirror. Are you happy with what you're seeing? Are you fulfilled with what you're seeing? That is the feeling that you will create when you're making better choices in your meals, when you're making better choices in your mindset, when you're making better choices towards your heart. Because if you want to feel better about yourself, you got to start doing more for yourself. Stop putting everyone else in front of you. Because when you put somebody else in front of you, you're in the back burner. And now, while they're out there like, ooh, 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 you're like this, like, I'm not feeling good today. Today's like one of those days. <sighs> I feel bad. I don't know what to do today. You don't want to feel like that person. So you got to like stop ditching out your energy to other people until you have owned your own energy. So I'm here to tell you, own your own energy so that you can be able, when you dispute it, to, when you give it to other people, you still have enough left over for yourself. Because if you're, if you're too busy giving energy to your kids, to your wife, to your husband, to your job, to your hobby, whatever, you're giving away your energy without keeping anything for yourself. And when you're not keeping energy for yourself, you're not going to succeed in whatever it is that you want to succeed in because you already drained yourself somewhere else. This is all tying into the unhealthiness that people have in food. So if you want to eat better, if you want to feel better, hit me up. Let's work on you. Everything that I do is based on your goals, on your life. It's not about what I do. I just tell you what I know. At the end of the day, you do what's best for you. And we'll figure it out together. We'll do it as a team. We'll do it as one. But we got to do more. We got to create more awareness. Our kids need our help. My nephews need my help. I do what I do for them because I know whatever I do today, they're going to be doing tomorrow. And I want to make sure that they live a happy, healthier lifestyle. And I will do whatever it takes for them to do it. I don't want them to be going into doctors all the time. I don't want them to be going drinking medicine all the time. I don't want that for them. You want that for your kids? Do you want to take them to the hospital all the time? The doctors all the time? Do you, do you, want, do you understand this? Every time your kids go to the doctor or yourself go to the doctor, you lose money. You know how much money you lose for going to the doctor? Eight hours worth of work. Some of you have, some, some of you have six days, some of you don't. Think about the awareness that you need to start creating in your mind when you get sick. When you stop feeling, when you start feeling bad about yourself. And do me a favor, guys. If you're feeling sick, if you're feeling down, don't talk about it. It's nobody's business. The only reason why I say that is because once you put it out there, the energy gets stronger. And when you, when you put the energy stronger on something, the universe starts working against you. And you don't want that. So if you're not feeling well, Keep it to yourself and, and tell yourself these words. I feel great. I feel amazing. Tell yourself what you're not feeling, but what you should be feeling. Always tell yourself what you should be feeling instead of what you're actually feeling so that you can create that awareness in your life. I hope you received this message. I long-winded it as always. I got to get better at showing in my videos, but when my message is strong, is strong. I hope you received it today. May God bless you all. And always remember, 
to stay healthy, stay positive, and never forget to have faith, not fear. Whoop, whoop. Peace. Out. Don't forget, 5 a.m. in the morning, work out, or maybe 6, or maybe 7, whatever time I wake up. Peace.